Okay, we're back on uh, Benny the bus, and we're going. To, we've actually been removing a lot of the seats to put everything on the interior of the bus. So we actually thought we'd do a blog showing how to remove a seat from a GM New Look Fishbowl bus. So we have a seat here ready to go. Uh, as you can see, this is one that's definitely coming out because it's got all rips in the upholstery and everything. So we're not even going to try and uh, use the steam cleaner on this one. We are already steam cleaning some of the other upholstery to try and renovate it back to the way it looked. Hopefully, when it was new. So the first part is to remove the bottom cushion. Very easy, it just has clips on there, so all you have to do is just lift it up in the front and then it slides right out. That one wasn't even holding on the back too well. And you just set that aside. Um, then you can see there's actually two tracks. One that's built into the floor and it has rubber that fills it in when it, where it's not. And it's got these uh, closed-ended uh, nuts that cover it. Um, 9 16 inch uh, nuts. And then there's another track in the wall that runs the whole length of the bus that the, uh, the other side uh, links into. So what you need to do is, for the ones on the bottom it's very easy, we can just use a, a 9 16 uh, uh, socket wrench and oh, this is set to tighten. Uh, so you can just remove these as per usual. Uh, very simple, very easy. Uh, and then up against the wall though it's a little tighter quarter so you won't be able to use the socket wrench. You have to use the box wrench or the open-ended open -ended wrench. Um, and then, you know, you guys know how to use a wrench. Uh, so then once, once all the nuts are loose, then all you have to do is just lift this, this end in the aisle up off of the bolts. And then it's an open-ended bracket up against the wall so you can just slide it right out. And the whole, the whole carriage assembly will, will, will come right out. And then it will look like this. We've already got one seat removed here. You can see that there's just bolts sticking up in the track in the wall. And there's bolts sticking up out of the floor. And you definitely want to get the bolts out of the floor so somebody doesn't trip on them. And you can see that there's just a little rubber gasket that kind of fills in the, the gap where there's no where there's no uh, where there's no seat. Um, it's in here pretty tight, so you have to you have to knock it loose. You're gonna need a screwdriver and a mallet of some sort. So you can just give it a good tap. This one's pretty loose. So I can actually remove that by hand. You can see it's like a T-shaped uh, bolt. So it just goes in and twists to kind of lock it into place, and then when you tighten it, it cinches up to the, to the bus. So it's a very good system. The, the, they're, they're actually in there very, very solid when they're, when they're done. So it's actually very easy to put in and very easy to remove. So we're going to do, be removing a lot of them. Um, and then when next time you see us, there will just be a couple of them left. So that's the end of, uh, the end of this blog on day three for interior of the bus.